Principle number four. A solution has bionic quality. So in the last principle, we talked about problems. Now we talk about solutions. To begin with, I would like to discuss the word bionic shortly. Um, I personally don't really resonate with this word and I prefer to use natural or organic instead. And I'm going to explain why. So we could also say a solution has a natural or has an organic quality. So the reason why I don't really like the bionic word is because it assumes that there is a difference between nature out there and the human being being outside of nature. Bionics is the study of mechanical systems that function like living organisms. It mimics nature, which in a way brings up the idea that we are separate from nature. And I uh, fundamentally disagree with that because I feel that we are nature. And it's more about discovering our inner nature. Now, when we draw, I'm going to start off with a little figure again, a little human being. Um, what we can do is we follow our inner nature, we awaken our inner nature with the help of the drawing with the way that we draw, which I demonstrate here, um, with what we call the neurographic line. That is one of the elements where we can really tap into this idea and into the feeling, into the sensation of connecting with nature. We become nature. Havis says that nature has an inherent harmony. So one of the things that um, is really, really important is harmony. You know, nature is harmony. So in a way, drawing in patterns that remind us of nature, that awaken this inner nature, that connect us to an experience where we can experience ourself as a part of nature, that can help us come into harmony. What we also do is we connect to the nature around us. We connect to our environment. And this is something that's a very important step in Neurographica. We actually have an extra step for it. So when we work with it, we don't only think about and work with ourselves, but also with the people around us, the world around us, literally nature around us. Our environment plays an important role. So we don't only work in isolation with just like our individual themes, but the individual themes at some point always connect to the larger environment, which I find really, really important. So it brings us in harmony with the experience of being nature, you know, the nature of being, which is correct, characterized by movement, and change. And this is what we can experience in the drawing process. We experience a constant movement when we work with the lines and we experience constant change as the image slowly develops, as the image slowly changes. And then, of course, we have um, this very, very important part where we connect. We connect all the different parts of the image together, like we talked about in the first principle, all the elements become one whole. And we do that in this organic, natural pattern that really characterizes the method.
when we look at Neurographica drawings, they have this quality of nature. This also enables us to integrate the solutions that we find easier into our being because it can, of course, also look a little bit like neural pathways. We kind of draw the neural pathways um, that we connect between little different things. So this can make it easier for our mind to create inner new connections. So by using the laws and the mechanisms of nature, and especially by working with the neurographic line, that is an organic line, that is a line that is not solely um, guided by our mind, but really by our entire body, and by um, observing ourselves, the solutions and decisions that we make involve our whole organism. It's not just coming from the mind, but really we check in with our body and with our emotions and we connect and integrate into our environment. So this is how we can come into a harmonious state on the inside and on the outside. So this is how solutions have natural, organic, or if you want to, bionic quality.